Those percentages next to nutrients on the nutrition label are very important. It will help you to know what they tell you and what they don't tell you. Experts in the field have examined the literature and decided on how much of a nutrient is required to meet the physiological needs of half of the population. They call this the estimated average requirement. They take that number and increase it, either by two standard deviations if that's known, or multiply by 1.2 to give a number that will be sufficient for about 98% of the healthy population. They call this the recommended dietary allowance. So that's what it does tell you. What doesn't it tell you? It does not tell you the needs of exercising populations. For example, the RDA for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram body mass, but the ISSN recommends more like 1.4 to 2 for exercising populations, and even more at times of hard training or during fat loss. It's also worth noting if you're exercising, even micronutrient requirements might increase. Exercising populations likely need more iron, for example. The values are all based on a 2,000 calorie diet. If you consume 3,000 to support exercise, it might make sense for you to aim for 150% of RDA for micronutrients. 